downtime is a huge problem for manufacturers. In fact, 72% of manufacturers tell us that it's either the number one or in their top few issues in terms of productivity issues that they face. Uh, but unplanned downtime actually isn't just a problem for industry. It's actually a problem for all of Britain. In the 20 years to 2010, global productivity is running at 4% a year. In the years since then, right, since 2011, that slumped to just 1%. And that's a productivity slump, right? That's a real problem. And unplanned downtime is a big contributor to that. Uh, in fact, in Britain alone, our productivity per worker slipped 0.2% in the first six months of this year. And if you look at our productivity figures compared to the G7 in Europe, in 2015, we were 16% lower than the average in the G7. Industries around Europe are starting to embrace digital technologies that address unplanned downtime. And by reducing that, they're improving their productivity. Conversely, in Britain, we need to close that gap by improving our unplanned downtime. In fact, service is 70% of the world's economy, right? Service businesses. And we estimate that just making improvements in service businesses is already a $40 billion market opportunity. Unplanned downtime is still a recurring issue for companies because they previously hadn't been able to monitor, understand the condition of their existing equipment. But with the rise of the digital twin uh, and applications like asset performance management uh, applications that help companies to monitor and understand their equipment, all that is changing. In fact, it's already changed. You can make a huge difference. So important that 45% of companies say that using the digital twin and asset performance management software will make immediate improvement in their business. And 54% plan to adopt the use of the digital twin by 2020. There are a lot of internal and external consequences of unplanned downtime. First and foremost, you know, when you have unplanned downtime, the line is out uh, and you've got to repair. So you've got employees sitting around being paid while that's being fixed. In fact, even worse, uh, you probably have to meet customer demand. So then you need to pay overtime in order to make sure you're delivering the right product at the right time in the market or perhaps even at the wrong time and paying penalty again. Uh, or you might have assets out in the field like turbines and you have to meet your power generation contracts and you might be in breach of those contracts unable to fulfill demand. In addition, um, companies that fix things urgently, you know, an urgent problem, usually pretty costly, right? The, the ability to plan your maintenance and fix things at the optimal moment for a company means much lower maintenance costs. And of course, very importantly, uh, Unplanned downtime on mission critical equipment, and there's many different types of it, but take the jet engine, right? The, the people on the crew that are relying on that jet engine to work when it's in operation, their safety relies on that, right? So unplanned downtime on that engine could mean lives are at risk. So reducing unplanned downtime, investing in the uh, technology tools, the, the software that enable you to reduce that unplanned downtime, delivers productivity savings, but also the safety uh, improvement that companies need across all of their assets.